Hey, it's Chris, and today we're taking a break from Apple videos to talk about unbelievably useful Android apps. Yeah, Android. If you're new around here, this is an ongoing series, so make sure to hit subscribe if you wanna see more like it, and I'm gonna leave links to everything that I mentioned down in the description. So if I talk too fast or you miss the name of something, then make sure to check out that description to see what I'm talking about. So Haven is the first app that I wanna to mention today, and it is awesome. Haven lets you use an Android phone's sensors to monitor and protect any room or area. In other words, it turns your spare Android phone into a really high-tech security camera. So when you leave your room, for instance, set it up and it will detect motion, sound, vibrations, and light. Haven was actually designed for people like investigative journalists, but it works equally well if you're trying to keep your nosy roommate from checking out all your stuff. Quickly, I wanna to mention today's sponsor, NordVPN, which can help you secure your online privacy on the go. Nord protects your internet traffic with military-grade encryption, shields you from malware, and lets you stream securely anywhere. So you're not gonna get slowed down by things like buffering, bandwidth throttling, and slow connection speeds. NordVPN has over 3,000 servers in 59 countries. There's no data logging. You get 24 seven customer support and up to six simultaneous connections. And it even works in China. So you can learn more and try it out for yourself using the link down in the description. Next up is Cake. It's a browser, but it's totally different than anything you've ever seen. There's a huge difference when it comes to search. So instead of boring old Google search results, Cake skips the list of sites and takes you right to them. Then you can simply swipe between them, kind of like skipping the menu and heading straight to the dessert. I mean, Google basically is the internet these days, so somebody rethinking this interface is actually a pretty big deal. I really like that you can personalize searches by choosing and reorganizing your preferred search services. So if you want Jet or Target listings to appear first and Amazon or Walmart to appear last, you can make that happen. The next app is super simple, but also super useful. It's called Turtle Timer, and it's basically like a better do not disturb mode for your phone. So basically, this is a timer that sends automated replies while it's running to people who text you, letting them know that you're busy. In that sense, with the automatic replies, it's kind of like do not disturb while driving on the iPhone. So if it's finals week and you really need to study, you could turn this on without alienating your friends. And then if somebody really does need to get in touch, they can text emergency and get right through. Okay, let me interrupt really quick to tell you that this hoodie has a cell phone pocket on the inside so I can stash my Android phone, which is my second phone. Got an iOS device, sorry all you Android fans, that's my primary phone. I'm stashing it right here, like if I wanna use that later but I wanna free up my pockets, don't want my keys to like wreck my phone or something, boom, it's right there. If you wanna check it out, I'll leave the link down in the description. Next up is Liquid Space, which is really more of a service than an app, but I'm still gonna include it here anyways. What this is, is if you're looking for a temporary workspace, you can find it really quickly and easily, sort of like Airbnb, but for office space. So if you're sick of working at the coffee shop or you need a place to meet with somebody or you need a cool place to film, this is an awesome solution with really cool looking spaces to choose from. Now this next app, Fluctuate, is for all of you that shop on Amazon. So basically, everyone ever. If there's something you really wanna buy and you're always checking the price, like a TV or a laptop or a camera for instance, then Fluctuate can save you a bunch of time and possibly some good money too. And actually, it works with all shopping sites, not just Amazon, but I love the graph that shows you the price changes of a product over time. Now, maybe you're somebody who at the end of the day wonders where all your time went. If that's you, then this next app can help you be a little bit more productive. Smarter Time is a really awesome, fully featured time tracker that does everything for you. It's fully automatic. Actually, it's kind of more like an intelligent assistant that learns your habits automatically from your location, input, and sensors. Because for me, I'm never gonna want to or be able to manually add, I did this at this time or this at that time, whatever. So something that does it all for me and shows me the results is killer. All right, this next app is one of the best on this list. It's called Index and it lets you organize everything everywhere. So what that means is that you can organize anything from Dropbox and Google Docs and your notes and the web 
and more and make it all searchable. So you can store your files in index if you want, or you can just point to content that you've already stored somewhere else. I can see this sounding kind of abstract if you're just hearing about it, but I definitely recommend trying it out because I think it's possibly something that you could get addicted to. It's that good. Now, the last app that I wanna to share today is called Droid ID. And it's kind of funny because this is an app for people who are Android owners and Mac owners. So what this does is really simple. It lets you unlock your Mac with your Android phone's fingerprint sensor, making your life a little bit more secure and convenient. And that is basically it. <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> That's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. There's lots more videos like this coming up. Lots of great hardware coming up. I just ordered the Google Clips camera today. That's going to get reviewed soon. Got some Xbox content coming up. Really excited about that. Anyways, there's a lot going on. You're going to want to subscribe and turn on notifications if you're already a subscriber so you can be one of the first people to see these videos. And I will catch you in the next video. Later.